I just want to start off the vlog by saying you guys have been so freaking nice on my last few vlogs and I'm just I'm so grateful like thank you for being here it's so wild to me that people take the time out of their day to watch my life and just like me ramble on about just random things that really nobody should care about but yeah you guys have been so so lovely so i just want to say a massive thank you on the agenda today is a checkup appointment for bronson i didn't tell you guys last week i had to get an emergency appointment for him at the vets because he his eye was just like randomly swollen in the evening wednesday last week but like really bad he was like basically closed i took him to the vets the next day and yeah he had like a superficial scratch maybe from like playing with another dog or from going in the bushes like a leaf might have scratched his eye or something so yeah we've got a checkup appointment for that today and then after that my boyfriend and i have been invited to an event with elizabeth arden which i'm so excited about um, if you guys are og subscribers and then you guys will know that i have been obsessed with the eight hour cream for years they're an amazing brand so yeah it's really exciting to go do that i think it's my first like proper event in manchester as well so that's pretty exciting this dog is destroying my cushion stop stop ruining everything can't have anything nice with this dog i'm gonna head off now because i need to get there i don't want to miss the appointment Okay, so I know I said that I wasn't ordering any more clothes, but hear me out, okay? <laughs> Basically, and excitingly, I am gonna be working with ASOS on one of my upcoming videos. It's kind of a Halloween look, but not really. And yeah, they kind of gave me some credit, obviously, to get a few bits for the video. And I'm kind of excited because all I'm wearing at the moment is tracksuits because I haven't got anything that I like or want to wear. A lot of it's like old stuff. My style's kind of evolving and changing. So I'm kind of low-key excited because it means like, I'll have some outfits to shoot for Insta and stuff as well. And just to like express myself so i'm gonna crack these open i did also place my own order afterwards for a few bits that i wanted <laughs> but i need some jumpers and stuff okay don't judge me oh my god this is so much oh bronson please please just sit 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 poor good boy wait i'm so excited to try this stuff on i just hope it fits Also, you need to get these Nike socks. They're just like the typical white ones, but dyed, I guess, in the nicest neutrals ever. I got sizes eight to 11, because that's all they had left. Plus we share socks, so I wanted to make it fair, you know? I'll leave a link down below. Hopefully they'll still be available. They are so beautiful. Okay, I guess I've got to try it all on. I have to save that for the ASOS video, I'm afraid. Sorry guys. Okay, we need to get this show on the road. <laughs> Why am I standing like this? We need to get this done because this is just a disgrace and I can't eat corp anymore. And I feel like I'm just going to get rid of a load of shit because why am I holding on to it? I don't know. I've just got a whole load of new ASOS stuff and a lot of this stuff I just never wear, so. You know how you're like the mastermind behind all my amazing, like all the good pictures on my Instagram? You got time to take a couple now. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful this jewelry is. Oh my God. As we know, I mostly wear silver at the moment, but this, this is so good. And also, wait, I've got to show you this charm because it's so freaking cute. Look how cute that tooth charm is. I can't cope. I have spent all day painting my nails and getting a video and now, it is half 
four, which means we've got, when does the sun set? At six, an hour and a half to try and shoot some content. I'm gonna have to shoot the other stuff tomorrow morning, but that's more of a video. But I am loving the vibes. I've done like cozy at home autumnal colored PJs. It's Sunday, so we're obviously gonna make a roast. Very excited. Also, we did a food shop and it's been so amazing to have bare food in the house. It's the best thing ever. I think this is the first like proper food shop that we've done for the flat since I've lived in Manchester. So that's, that's 10 months. <laughs> so bad i did one in the old flat at the beginning i did like a waitrose order i just don't i don't really like doing food shop orders but we went sainsbury's the other day it was great and it means i can do what i eat in a day and i know you guys usually like my what i eat in a days as well so it's a win-win because i love food you guys seem to love my food i've been getting a lot of questions about my eating habits and if they've changed so i definitely need to update you guys on that as well but i'm going to save that for a what i eat in a day guys i've just set up my phone to test the lighting it's immaculate right now in tip for you we've got the same camera honestly guys the lighting was a paid actor. That was probably the quickest, easiest shoot we've ever done. Having direct sunlight makes such a difference and it's been raining and gross all day. And then just as we need to shoot, actor comes through. Hello, we've had dinner early for once and I think we're just gonna chill and watch a movie, but I thought I would chat to you guys whilst I take off my makeup. Wow. Just thought we'd have a little catch up. Sorry if the lighting's bad. The other day we were invited to find out more about the Elizabeth Arden ceramide capsules and I had a little facial there, like a really quick 10 minute facial using the capsules that they recommended to me. And oh my God, you guys, this is not an ad by the way, but my skin after using the capsules looks so insane. And I kind of just need to show you guys. Also, they're just really cool. So I'm gonna use the PM ones tonight. I was advised to use the daily youth restoring serum and they basically come in these little capsules they're like little pods they're so cute and yeah i've been using them since and my skin just feels so like plump and nourished so i'm feeling like i'm definitely going to be continuing to use that as part of my skincare routine because my skin just feels amazing after them i think tonight we're going to watch a movie on sky it's a sky original called the accursed we watched the trailer the other day it looks terrifying like i'm so excited in the last vlog i was showing you guys some little spooky bits that i bought for the flat so i want to set it up and make it all cute and light the candles and stuff and i've got some halloween treats as well so i just thought it would be fun to like do a little themed night because we're not doing anything crazy for halloween this year we're just gonna go to like a fright night kind of walk through thing you know where they have all the actors that like try to scare you but we're not like partying or anything so we just want to like do something to on a halloween because it's both of our like favorite time of year or one of them anyway we've just both got a lot on um and my boyfriend's going on like a really important trip at the beginning of next month so he's not drinking so we, we don't want to like do anything to like jeopardize that so yeah that's what we're gonna do tonight and to be honest i'm really looking forward to it i do enjoy going out but i definitely am much more of a homebody so i mean it works for me <laughs> I'd love to know what you guys are doing for Halloween though. And what you guys are going as. I feel like I'm always really rubbish at like being original with Halloween costumes. I always wear like the really obvious ones. I'd love to hear what you guys are going as for Halloween. Sorry guys, my boyfriend just got home with parcels. I've changed my nose ring to a silver one. What was I going to do? Huh? Are you vlogging? Yeah. I'm showing them the um, the little pod things. Relax. You're not I just want to take a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it literally comes out. Like this and apparently they're 100% biodegradable so you can just flush them down the toilet slash they'll just dissolve in the water the texture of this is so foreign to me it kind of feels like a hair serum or like a heat protectant serum it's really like silky which at first I was a bit weirded out by but it actually absorbs really quickly it's really nice can't forget to go down the neck. It is a serum though. I'm gonna put that on my hands as well. So I'm still gonna use my moisturizer and stuff. It's just like an extra step that's really nice. Ulla Henriksen, which is probably my favorite skincare brand at the moment, recently sent me some of their Banana Bright Plus Eye Cream. And I love this stuff, guys. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I swear, as soon as I put it on, you can see a difference between my eyes. I don't know if it's just like light reflecting or what. It just is so good. Oh, it feels so nice. Nothing better than doing skincare, I swear. And then I use the Ilya Henriksen Goodnight Glow Bakuchil Sleeping Cream. I swear this stuff has made such a difference to my skin. Look, I've probably, 
I've used so many of these. I'm right at the bottom of this, so I need to get a new one. It is a little bit on the pricier side. It's not super expensive, but it is definitely on the pricier side. But um, it's so worth it. And honestly, a little goes such a long way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I swear the Elizabeth Arden stuff gives you that like glass skin look. It's insane. Let me show you. Crazy, it looks so good. guys it is the next day a bit of a busy day today doing some fun stuff but i thought i would quickly talk about the movie that we watched last night whilst it's still fresh in my mind and just because i want to talk about it the film was called the accursed it is a sky original as you guys know i'm part of the sky cinema club which means i get to watch awesome movies and just share my thoughts and feelings with you guys to summarize the accursed it's basically about a girl called eleanor a family friend asks her to look after an elderly woman that lives in like some random remote cabin in the middle of nowhere alone to which she agrees even though there's a bit of like skepticism she does agree to look after the elderly woman and uh, she ends up finding out some pretty dark secrets so right at the beginning it started off a bit like whoa you know when it kind of just goes straight in like literally in the first couple of shots but then after that I feel like it had quite a slow pace which at first I was like come on like let's get into the nitty-gritty because that's usually how I like my horror movies to be but I feel like the slow pace created some suspense so there was like a big build up and then at the end everything just went nuts and I was like whoa so I actually in the end quite enjoyed the way that um it was very much a slow burner until right at the end there was a lot of pretty creepy scenes in there I found myself at some points like you know when your whole body's tense and you're just like crunching up your face like oh my god this is making me cringe so bad and yeah I do feel like the slow pace almost made it creepier in a way because you were always like waiting for something to happen and because you did that for so long when everything happened at the end it was like overwhelming in a good way you know like a horror way <laughs> I'd say it's definitely much more of like a straight up like shock factor gory like scary horror movie rather than like a psychological kind of vibe which is exactly what you want for Halloween so but yeah, it, it had us up later than we needed to be, so that's good. I think it was the perfect film to watch for Halloween and to have like all the cozy Halloween vibes going on. The film really completed the Halloween vibes, basically. If you guys are looking for something with a bit of shock factor, a bit of gore, quite a bit of gore actually, there was definitely scenes that had me proper cringing. There's one I've got in the back of my mind right now and I wish I could say to you. Let's just say when Eleanor is forced to eat something. If you guys know, you know. If you watch it, let me know that you know. That made me cringe so much. I'm gonna close the window. Oh yeah, and then right at the end, there's a bit of, I guess a plot twist or something that you don't expect and it's like, this is how they're gonna end it. So I'm thinking maybe there'll be a sequel. I don't know, kind of hope so. Cause they can't just leave it like that. They can't just leave it on a cliffhanger like that. I'm gonna go get ready now cause we've got some stuff to do today. We're about to go shoot and then we're going to a Banksy exhibition, which I'm super excited about. Obviously I'm gonna bring you to the gallery. I don't really know what it is. It's just called The Art of Banksy. I saw it and I was like, need, need tickets. So we've got that booked in at one. Also I managed to grab that hoodie that you guys saw me in, the huge one, my boyfriend's, in my size. I tried to link, but it's sold out really quickly. It's the um, Gap Yeezy Balenciaga hoodie. It's got, I don't know if you guys can see, a dove on the back, but just keep checking checking the Gap website. I think they also sell it on Farfetch. Just put your email and for them to notify you when your size comes in stock. For reference, this is a small and it's still huge. So I'd say if you like oversized hoodies, like I always get my hoodies in a large, go with like your regular size. You don't need to get this in any sizes bigger. It's just perfect the way it is. The glasses are Amazon. My earrings are Pandora. I've got some Pandora necklaces on as well. Just a t-shirt that I got from Topshop. My skirt is really old. I have no idea where it's from, probably just ASOS. And then my Naked Wolf satin boots as always. And I'm gonna be taking my little silver Jackamus bag. Might as well show you it on. But yeah, that's the outfit.
just got done at the Banksy exhibition and sorry for the angle it's kind of awkward we're in a restaurant basically we stopped to get some food we've come to Prezzo because we fancied a bit of a Saliano yeah very excited to chow down I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the exhibition they had it was well good it was just really cool to see all his pieces like together in one place and see different things that I haven't seen like online or out and about in the streets and then a little bit more about like context of like his pieces and why he does what he does so yeah I'm being really all good because it's busy I'm gonna go mm -hmm. bye We are back home. I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the exhibition because obviously Banksy's quite like a private person as an artist. Oh, my phone's going off. So basically the exhibition, it's not endorsed by him. He doesn't acknowledge it. It's actually made up of a collection of pieces of artwork that were bought by people. And the collectors basically all had one thing in common is that they feel like the artwork needs to be seen. It needs to be shared. Um, so that's where this exhibition came about. It actually has nothing to do with Banksy. And yeah, I just... I find him such an interesting person. He makes so many like political statements and um, tries to kind of create movement around political situations um, through his art. And I just think he's incredible. I mean, I know I'm not the only one. Yeah, it was really cool to see his pieces all together in one place. Some that I've never seen or heard of before. And just like read and learn a bit more about you know, when they were created, why they were created. And yeah, I feel like I need to do more of this. I think next time I go down to London, I'm gonna make a point of going to more exhibitions. There's a few that I wanted to go to that I couldn't make, unfortunately, but I definitely need to make more of a point of doing it. It just always feels so like refreshing and wholesome. It is that time of the month again where I am PMSing. It always seems to come round again so quickly so i'm not feeling my best i'm pretty tired i haven't worked out in ages so i'm gonna do a little yoga flow because that is what is on the cards for me which i'm so grateful for today i get a lot of questions asking what workout app i use i'll show you guys it's this um it's called evolve you and it is absolutely incredible and my body i'm on the strong lower body program my body is changing and I feel strong and I love it but yeah I'm also pretty grateful that I'm not having to do an intense workout right now so I'm gonna do a little bit of a maybe I think it's like a 15 minute yoga flow um, and then just wind down because I feel exhausted can't seem to find a yoga mat <laughs> oh there she is oh <sighs>
was such a lovely easy yoga session i've been getting a lot of like pinching pains in my lower back and this side of my neck and it won't go away but i feel like that definitely should help hopefully i've just taken bronson for a walk fed him showered and i thought i would do a little eye mask because unfortunately i feel like i'm verging on a migraine so i'm just trying to do everything to prevent it so i'm going to do like a little eye mask drink a ton of water take some ibuprofen and just chill the fuck out um it's really weird i've never really had migraines in my life and i think over like the last couple of years i've had quite a few um so i can kind of tell the warning signs but i'm always terrified because it's just the worst thing ever having a migraine oh, this feels so good i want to light some candles but i'm not sure if that's a good idea i'm gonna sit with my eye mask chill out watch some youtube maybe read a book i need to eat dinner but i'm not feeling that hungry right now um but i might just order like a soup or something kind of nourishing and wholesome because i feel like that might help i feel like i need to get back on my game as well i've been slacking so much with taking like my supplements and i feel like my hair feels different i just don't feel as good as i could as i know i could be feeling um so i need to like jump back on this i guess this is me trying to hold myself accountable you guys please hold me accountable as well because i've been terrible i haven't been taking them at all and i know that they help me so much around this time of the month and just in general i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you hopefully bright and early in the morning pray for me <laughs> Good morning guys. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell <laughs> by my appearance, I've had a bit of a rough night. I thought I'd like bypass the migraine, but no, it woke me up in the middle of the night and kept me up. <laughs> but luckily I have been well and truly looked after this morning. I was brought a coffee and a pain au chocolat and it was amazing. Um, I've just had a bit of a slow morning. I've been reading my book a little bit. I'm currently in a queue for Paramore tickets. I'm praying that I get. I want to surprise my boyfriend. Um, it's not until April, the gig, and his birthday's in April, so I'm really hoping I can get some floor tickets, like standing tickets. I started at like 9,000 and something in the queue, and I'm now at like 3,000, so we can only hope and pray. Fingers are crossed for that. Um, but yeah, it's been a bit of a slow morning. I've just been like reading and listening to some like calming music because I'm still feeling, not feeling migrainey, but I'm feeling extremely tired. I do want to get ready and try and shoot some content today. I don't want to let the migraine take over. Um, and I'm also getting my new iPhone today. I did actually end up ordering a new iPhone because I saw that the camera was meant to be insane. And I actually want to give my mum my old one. So I was like, I guess I'll get one. So yeah, that should be coming today, which is exciting. So maybe I'll do a little unboxing of that as well. But for now, I'm gonna keep my eye on these tickets because I'm now at like 1,900. So they're going quickly. So I need to keep my eye on the ball, you know? Well, I'm sad to tell you that the purchasing of the tickets did not go very well, but I'm gonna keep my hopes up. If I can find some resale ones that aren't absolutely extortionate. There were tickets available, but not the ones that I wanted. I really want to get standing tickets. I want to be in the nitty gritty. I want to be right down in the middle of the floor, singing along, moshing, dancing, whatever it is that goes with the vibe of the artist. That's where I want to be. I don't want to be right at the back somewhere sitting down, you know? I want to feel the bass in my chest. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's the same as well. I realized that I didn't show you guys the spare room now that it's like pretty much done being tidied up so i thought i would show you guys real quick it's not very satisfying because i still need a wardrobe situation but so everything's like tidy and then there's a cupboard like round that way that's got some jackets and stuff in it it just feels so much neater and better um so basically what i need to do now is go through this stuff again and see if there's anything else that i don't want to keep and then i need to put away like the summer stuff i guess although the weather has been so warm lately. But yeah, I need to put away the summer stuff and then we basically need to sort out a wardrobe situation. We were thinking the Ikea Pax wardrobes, but I looked online yesterday, last night, and I think they're all white or like wooden and we kind of want to go for something a bit darker, I think, in here. So we're not really sure if we want to do that because then we'd have to paint it and it's all a bit long. So we're trying to figure out if there's another place we can get like a customised wardrobe um, made that isn't going to be ridiculously expensive. So if you guys know of any places that do that, please let me know. But yeah, that's what we need to get going in here. Also, I want to show you guys, I found this 
Um, okay, so basically, hold on. In that spot, don't mind the pee pad. I've realized there's a pee pad in every vlog. But in that spot there, we want to get a, um, I guess like a bar table. I do have one, but it's not very practical. And also, I just kind of over it now. So we want to get a bar table. And I've seen one online. That I My boyfriend's not too keen on it, but I think I can convince him. Um, and I think it would look amazing here. So we just need to get like a measuring tape to measure it out, but let me show you guys. How sick is this? Imagine in grey, it's got that concrete vibe. How cool is that? Personally, I love it. I think it could look absolutely amazing. And then we'll have somewhere to dine, to eat, to do some work that isn't like, obviously you guys can see I'm right in direct sunlight now. And sometimes it's difficult when you're like editing and stuff to work or when the sun's getting in your eyes. So if we're back there and our screens are like facing the window, I think it could be perfect. And I think it would just be a nice little addition to have in the flat. So I don't know what else I am going to be doing today. I wanted to shoot some of the stuff that I ordered, but none of it fits. All the stuff that I got for the ASOS, the actual ASOS video was perfect. But the stuff that I ordered myself, didn't come through unfortunately so i don't really know what to do about that but it's sunny i really want to shoot can you guys let me know what you guys would like to see on my instagram as well please because i feel like i haven't posted properly in so long i just don't know where to begin or what you guys want to see so let me know i'm gonna keep looking at homeware stuff right now i am still waiting on my iphone i really thought i was gonna go out and shoot today but instead i've been sat here with an ice pack on the back of my neck it's return of the migraine oh my god I'm gonna leave it here today and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow, hopefully. It is Saturday night. We're going to a horror maze called Spooky World. I've been in a hot water bottle all day, just sitting on the sofa. So uh, not quite sure I'm prepared for this, but I'm still excited nevertheless. If you watched my ASOS styling video, my Halloween outfits video, and I did say that I was gonna wear an outfit from that video tonight, but I didn't really think it through, did I? It's a horror maze and it's been raining, which means it's probably muddy. And also I'm just very uncomfortable in my body today in terms of like how it feels, not how it looks, just how it feels. And I just wanna be comfortable. So um, I've gone for the most basic cargos, already muddy trainers, and a hoodie. We will, oh guys, look how cute it is outside. There's a little crescent moon over there. I don't even think you'll be able to see it on here, but there is one and it's well cute. I hope you guys enjoy the next few clips because I feel like it's going to be hilarious. Yeah, you know. I'm a bit like, <laughs> was an experience if I ever did experience one. We had fun, didn't we? It was a laugh indeed. It was a laugh. What I will say though, is if you're gonna go, I don't know how long it's on for, but if you are gonna go, make sure you go on the uh, tractor ride thing right at the end. Or don't go on or it. Or just don't go on it. <laughs> We got sprayed with foam, and then you will have seen a woman holding that big like car wash spray thing. What's it called? Just a jet wash. Jet wash. And at the end they just hosed us down. <laughs> 
what was the reason <laughs> but no all in all it was really funny so now we're back home it's like basically midnight and we've ordered a fat burger king so we go chow down on that and we can go to sleep because we're old and tired <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you all had an amazing Halloween. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.